welcome back to another episode. I'm your gracious host David and I'll be reviewing the Sony M4. As more people spend time with their devices, they're looking for ways to carry a miniature entertainment system with them. Computers, tablets, and phone screens have beautiful high resolution screens to watch videos on. But how about headphones? How have they improved? Enter the Sony M4 noise cancelling headphones. I'll be looking at its features, what can be better, and if it's worth the purchase. The M4 has 5 microphones that are on the outside and a proximity sensor in the right air cup, which I'll be talking about later. The power and custom buttons and the 3.5mm headphone jack are on the left cup, and the USB-C charging point is found on the right. Recharge time is about 10 minutes, so you don't have to wait long to get back to listening to your school lectures. The headphone comes with the USB-C charging cable, 3.5mm headphone cable, and an adapter for airplanes. The hard carrying case is designed well, and I like that its compactness means that you can carry it in a bag or purse without it taking up much space. Overall, everything weighs about a mid-sized paperback book. Connecting the headphone requires that you hold the power button for 7 seconds, but if you have NFC on your device, you can just tap the device to the left ear cup and it'll connect immediately. A cool feature of the M4 is that you can connect it to two devices. Set this up by connecting the M4 to your devices and in the Sony headphone app, you'll see that you have two devices. To switch between devices, just have a device playing something with audio. Here I'm listening to Spotify on my MacBook and then switching to my iPhone. It's that simple. This is a nice feature because you don't have to be tethered to a specific device or location. Maybe you want to be away from your desktop computer and listen to music outdoors. Here I'm running Spotify on my MacBook. When I want to switch, click listen on this iPhone and then it'll switch seamlessly. Let's talk about the Sony headphone app. The app has a ton of customization to make your listening experience the best for you. There are presets on how you want the audio to be, like vocal, treble boost, bass boost, and more. Under systems tab, you can enable the connect to two devices simultaneously, decide when you want their headphones to shut down, and more. You can enable the speak to chat too. This means if you talk, mumble, or even say filler words like hmm or ah, the audio and noise cancellation immediately pauses. This may not be good when you're on the subway and people are talking around you. If you get these headphones, you should explore the app and customize it to your liking. What I like about the M4 is the design and its matte black finish. The panel on the top of the headphone and on the ear cups are very comfortable, and I found myself wearing them for so long that I didn't realize it. I didn't want to feel the cups tightly and uncomfortably squeeze on my head like the Beats Studio headphones would. Wearing this in a cold climate, I found that no air was entering the firm seal of the air cups, which is good since cold air tends to hurt my ear drums. The proximity sensor inside of the headphone detects when you're wearing the headphones or not. The headphone pauses when you take them off and plays when you put them back on. This is important for when you need to quickly assess the environment. When I was looking for a noise cancelling headphone, I found that I wanted to have a modern yet minimalistic look. The M4 shows that the designers had the same thought and looks great with any outfit you wear with. By keeping just the central buttons on the headphones, you won't find yourself fumbling to change the music or adjust the volume as I'll show later. In terms of responding to your commands, I found that the M4 could have a bit of a minor delay, but it's not enough to disrupt the listening experience. If you walk a certain path frequently, you can enable the geolocation setting, which will automatically change the level of noise cancellation and ambient sound specifically for that area. Perhaps you walk past a construction site every day to work. This would be a feature you'd really want to enable. When I was working out, my body temperature was causing the proximity feature to malfunction, but when I gave it time to cool down, it worked as if no problem ever had occurred. In terms of audio quality, the M4 is perfect. When you're using this, you're getting a high quality surround sound experience. I didn't have to have the volume loud to hear anything. A low volume is good enough to listen to any content. So let's talk about the 5 mics on the headphones that lead to this perfect noise cancellation. The hardware and software is so perfect that when I went to stand in front of this diesel powered motor running, the headphones remove most of the noise, making the motor sound like a soft and distant hum. In an urban setting where there's constant construction, cars and truck engines running and honking, the M4 allows you to replace these sounds with those that you like. 
Sony's ability to develop an excellent headphone is a sign that they're ready to compete with the big brands like Bose and Sennheiser. With more people spending time with their mobile devices, people want to have a portable entertainment system when they're on the go. But is the M4 perfect? No, and this has to do with the mic. Here, Jordan is talking on the phone with me to test the mic quality, and I have to say that I was shocked at how bad it was. You have to turn the volume on max to hear the person talking to you. But even then, when you're listening and talking on the M4, it sounds like you're in a tunnel. In some cases, it's cutting off, it doesn't sound professional, and it feels like it doesn't have reception. This is really disappointing because when you're paying a high price for the M4, the expectation is that it's flawless in every dimension. Literally, this headphone has two jobs, listen to audio and make calls, but it only does one of these things well. So Sony designers and engineers, if you're watching this, you need to drastically improve the mic and receiver for calls. If you hold your finger on the right ear cup for a few seconds, it triggers a voice control panel on your phone. So here's how you can control the audio with the M4. Double tap to play, pause. Swipe up or down to increase or decrease the volume. Swipe forward or backward to play the last track or skip to the next one. So for the gamers, if you want to get this headphone for music and games, you can purchase the Cable Boom mic. This makes up for the low quality mic and with it you now get the perfect experience that Sony was close to. The Cable Boom mic will connect to any port that has a 3.5mm jack, so connect to your controller or your laptop. In terms of battery life, Sony says you get 30 hours and the battery life icon is on the phone in the top right corner. Personally, I didn't like that the icons were so small and it should be obvious to the user that the battery life is draining. This is another area that developers can focus on, since people don't want to be caught by surprise when the M4 suddenly dies without warning. Another small feature is that if you have music playing and someone is calling you, the music automatically pauses. When you hang up, the music continues to play. When I was looking into how Sony made the audio so powerful, I learned that they used the digital sound enhancement engine with Edge AI, co-developed with Sony Music Studios Tokyo. Testing the headphones at 3 degrees Celsius weather show that it worked without a hitch, but if the code starts to affect the components, you can turn off the touch sensor and control the M4 from your phone until you're in a warmer environment. Another feature that I like about the M4 is the quick attention mode. This is you placing the palm of your hand on the right headphone cup, so the noise cancellation and music is temporarily disabled but you can hear around you. Of course, you can take one air cup off and the proximity sensor will pause the audio. The M4 shuts down after 5 minutes of inactivity, which will save you battery for later. What you should be aware of is that the M4 is not water resistant, splash proof, or waterproof, so sweat and hardening these will mess the components up and make them smelly really quick. So if you want to use these for working out in, or for the beach, the M4 is not it. The M4 can also detect when you're sitting down and adjust the sound levels, like add in bass, but once you start walking around, the noise cancellation and bass noticeably dims. Overall, the M4 is a delight to have. The audio is like carrying around a miniature surround system with you. I like that the app has a lot of features so you can customize the headphone settings to your liking. What Sony has to improve on is the mic and battery life display. It's unacceptable to pay so much for the M4 when only 50% is actually good, but I'd still recommend this headphone. If you like this review, subscribe to the Definitive channel for tech reviews and I'll see you in the next episode.